Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world and we're back to continue our playthrough of XCOM Chimera Squad and we are here to take down Atlas, the big, big, and this time I think I'm right, final <laughs> mission of this playthrough. Uh, we're going to take down Atlas, this is it, we're going to hit Atlas hard and keep hitting until we take them down, gear up, roll out, and prepare to make a big entrance. And uh, I've had second thoughts between episodes, and I'm kind of thinking, um, whoops, let's not go in there. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I want to adjust the team makeup. I'm a little disappointed overall in Cherub's performance, uh, and I don't know if this is the right move because he does have a few good perks in there as potential, but I want to, I think I'm going to replace him with Torque, to be quite honest, and... Uh, Handle it that way. We're going to pull him off the spec up, which if this is the final mission, doesn't matter anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and strip down Cherub of all his goodies. And see what we want to best do to give Torque Crucial Symmetry, that is his special weapon that uh, grants the Chain Shot ability. And what do we want to give him to go along with that? Expanded Magazine, if you're going to be taking extra shots potentially with a Chain Shot. And we're going to go the Advanced Auto Loader combo. Uh, what kind of extra armor do we want to give him? We have the Mock Weave to make his dodge amazingly good. Yeah, I think we're going to just go with Mock Weave and really up the dodge. Ceasefire Bomb will be the only choice we have in Breach items. We're going to give a Nano Med Kit for sure. And what else do we want to make the final item? Probably a Plasma Grenade. And there we go. We're outfitted. Let's get back out there. And we got our final team for the final episode. We're going to find out if this comes back to haunt me making that last minute change. Uh, but the, the lightning hands hasn't been impressing me. Uh, the cherub's been running. We've been missing far too much. Uh, who knows if I had kept him in there, maybe this was the mission we were due to start hitting on all those. Um, oh well, these are the choices we make. Let's get in there. All right, we have the team. We're not going to make any more adjustments. Let's launch Operation Hell Crater. We're going to take down Atlas in the downtown. Oof. And we aren't talking about three, we're talking about four projected encounters. Let's make it happen. Do me a favor on this final one. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Uh, help out this little tiny channel of ours. Get noticed and say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. What do you think of the playthrough? Brace for impact. Oof. Crazy driving. That's one way to get in the building. All right, successful shots on enemies will crit. Um, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll lead off. Why not? The new lead off guy, Torque, Blue Blood, Godmother, and Terminal. Here we go, guys, let's breach. Move in, now. All right, we got a commando. We got some mechs we're dealing with. Let's see who's shooting at us. Another mech. And another mech. Mech City ahead of us. Not going to help us so much with toxic greeting on the mechs, Torque. <laughs> That's another mech. How many mechs do we got to deal with here? Holy smokes, we got a commando far back. We got a hitman pretty close to. Bomber bar in the back and finally we got another hitman so we got tons of ways to get disabled Whew. I kind of like the idea of trying to go against these guys that are trying to take us out and return fire right off the bat so let's do some breach fire right here 76% torque welcome back <laughs> yeah welcome back we do have the ability to try and take this thing out. Six. We need a max crit. 
Uh, we can try the Lancer shot. We got a, look at that, the crit chance, 125%. Let's just, let's just hit and let, let the rest take care of itself. <laughs> one down, one down. Godmother, that means it's now your turn to hit for the crit. We got a crit and shred. And finally, the last shot we need to hit for a crit in order to take out the mech and not take a shot on the breach. Let's go terminal. Woo! Did it. Still got a lot of tough ones out there. Throwing smoke. The old blueprint showed an empty area just inside the wall. How was I supposed to know it was Shrike's firing range? I want an ordered advance, cover to cover. Find that flank. All right. All right, all right. We got a lot going on. We got a lot of hitmen ahead of us. Three turn cooldown for poison spit. Uh, maybe what we do. Let's see, let me just get an idea of what our tongue pull is against the hitmen. Or if we have the hitmen, 47% only. And that's all we have a chance to hit with the tongue grab. So uh, not feeling great about this. Three turn cooldown of chain shot. Take a shot with an aim penalty. If you hit the target, you take another one automatically on the target. Well, let's see who we got a chance to hit. Of course, we got a hit at 47%. That's not good. In fact, none of our chances to hit, because they're in some pretty decent cover, I imagine, are good. And I don't like the idea of mechs being able to shoot at us. I don't like the idea of hitmen being able uh, to disable us. Not a lot of amazing options here for us, is there? I'm wondering, Torque, if we move you over, that'll offer, first of all, that will help spread us out against any bombardment from a mech. And let's take a shot at what we have going against the Hitman. We got a pretty good chance against the mech now by making this move. Terrible chance against the Hitman. So I'm thinking uh, what we got to do is uh, maybe now is the time we break out just because it does have a cooldown. We'll try a little chain shot on the mech. That is your job. Uh, coming up first, though, is the commandos in the center, but they're pretty smoked out, not easy to hit. Uh, we'll start worrying about some enemies a little farther down the line, perhaps. Chain shot on the mech. Oof. Chain shot is not a good chance to hit all of a sudden. I could have sworn. So your regular shot is a pretty dang good 74%. If we can hit on 59 though, we have a pretty good chance of taking him out. Whew. Well, the other thing we have is some new tongue pull options. Let's take a look at what those are. 97% against commando. Now we're talking about taking out someone who could be shooting at us with pretty good odds. So uh, I'm thinking that's our new option right there. Let's do the tongue pull on the commando coming up. You. And we only got one left to do some hurt against us. And we will bind. On. All right, let's see what this guy does. Working our way. He's going to take... Who's he going to shoot? Against... And we got a hit, but it's a tiny hit, tiny damage kind of a hit. Now, do we have anybody lined up? Now, if we were standing off to the side, I'd say, oh boy, do we have some people lined up. 
Uh, but there's no way for the old phase lancer to have anybody lined up except maybe oh are we talking out of range here by one we sure are We're talking out of range by one the hitman coming up is back here what's your odds to hit him right now Sixty six only there, fifty two only there, and thirty six because he's in some dang good cover. So even you, Blue Blood, do not have the best of odds to hit. And coming up is the hitman right there. Wow. None of these odds are amazingly good. Kind of stumped on you, Blue Blood. Kind of stumped. Do we have the ability to move and then maybe get something lined up for us? I'm wondering if I move Blue Blood a little bit closer here, uh, maybe then the Phase Lance will be able to pick up, pick up more than one target. I think that's what I'm going to try. Instead of getting two shots at some pathetic odds. Let's find out. We can at least pick up two, do double damage. Let's go. We're gonna have a hitman going against us now, though. Dropping the hammer. And his cover, part of his cover's gone. I think that'll help make the mech more hittable. Disabling target weapon. Uh, missed. Wide. Nice miss okay. by the hitman for a change. Nice miss for the hitman. And unfortunately, I mean, I can get a. S if I go here with the scatter shot, am I going to kill one of these two? There's the question. There's the question for you. I think we run and gun a scatter shot and try to take one out and make you untouchable. And then hopefully that hitman wastes his shot against you, guard mother. Moving and shooting. Shifting. That one sees you. Yeah, a lot of them see you. <laughs> You're moving up out in the open, and we're taking a chance. We're hoping for a kill. Oh! We can't hit the bomber. At least not with a scatter shot and hit two for one. So instead, I have to look at a regular shot. And I got a pretty good chance to at least become untouchable that way. And I don't have a chance to become untouchable this way. So I think uh, we're due to be untouchable. That means that both the Hitman and the Mech, though, one of them may take out the untouchable and the other one may do some damage. So, oof. Oof de doof de doof. And we can't take him out with a hit. It's only a 33% chance for crit there. No chance for crit there. We gotta go for the one that uh, is least... Well, the one that can get me untouchable, but the one I don't, I need to take out the least. But here we go, Godmother. Let's do it. Hostile down. Closing on target. Here we go. Target weapon in play. Untouchable weapon unaffected. Okay. Now the mech, though. This is where we will be affected. Oh. Ah, oh, the the old explosion. That stings. Need me to take a look? Well, it killed the guy we were strangling here while it did us some damage. Uh, so what that leaves is we got two to move before the next commando over here. Can we make something happen? I almost feel like uh, I may have to burn a plasma grenade early to try and blow away some cover. That's what I'm thinking with you, Terminal. To make some things possible for us. I hate using consumables so early. The Hitman has more hit points, so we'll make the, the grenade hit on him. I'm not sure about the cover on the commando then, though. That's the problem. There we go. 
plasma. Okay, the commando is definitely exposed. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Terminal, I think we're just gonna give you the shot. Um, we will throw out a safeguard. Who needs it the most? Who's gonna be exposed the most? If we take out this commando, that means a hitman will be coming next over here. Uh, the most exposed to that hitman is going to be Torque, but you will get to move by then and Godmother. So Godmother, I think you're going to get a safeguard. Because your untouchable has been used. Let the high-tech spray do its work. Thanks. And then uh, we're going to see if we can't take out only 84%, but we're going to do it. Come on, aren't we? Aren't we, Terminal? There we go. That's it. You're done. Now, I'm Torque, uh, you. since you're kind of exposed here, we need to wrap somebody up. Where is the next hitman? Way over there. I don't know because his cover is so good. I really don't know. We just get close enough, but then uh, we sure better take out the mech if we're going to play that game. That leaves Godmother to be able to do it, and if anyone's able to do it, it, it very well could be Godmother. But it's not a guarantee. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the play we're going to take, though. I don't think the tongue can pull in a mech. Ooh, but it's pretty... Pretty sure shot against this guy coming up. That means that guy is going to get a free shot if we do it. Oh, I take that back. We got blue blood coming up because we took someone out in between them. So therefore, why don't we use our best tongue pull here on this guy? And that leaves blue blood to work on the other hitman. We're going to try that. You, come here. Leaves me standing in the open, so we got some things we got to take care of. Okay, blue blood. Once again, you're gonna have cruddy shots. Oh, against the hitman. In fact, we have no shots right now against the hitman because of that explosion and how that worked for us. So is he going to come out against the safeguarded godmother or is he going to just wang, wham away against Torque who's standing in the open and doesn't have any protection because I didn't move him first. I was counting on Blue Blood to be able to at least shoot over here. Uh, Blue Blood, we're going to bring you down. Means we're committed to Move taking it. out that Eyes mech open. now. So we just absolutely cannot see this hitman because of uh, where we are. So this shot is going out dead eye against the mech. And ooh, we can't take him out, but that would mean Godmother can. Depending on what that hitman does. Heads up! We help shred him. What's the hitman doing? He's moving and Target weapon, in sight. weapon disabled on torque, but that is the best one if he's going to disable a weapon to go against because it doesn't hinder him having the guy wrapped up. Now we got the guy wrapped up coming next and we got the mech that we can take care of coming up. So Godmother, now all of a sudden, and I don't mind keeping you exposed to be the target for this hitman if we don't take him out. Because you will be untouchable by taking out that mech. So let's play it that way. One less target. Boom, boom. We are going to keep 
binding the guy and he is bound and tied up. Now, Terminal, we have some business to do. That means we're going to have you and Blue Blood to do this business. Uh, we're going to keep the safeguard where it is. We're going to move you a little closer to try and get you a better hit. And what are your odds? 70%. Would have liked better. Ah, but the shooting sideways is your strength, eh? I'm a duck. No good. <laughs> Let's keep binding. Splattered a Thank you, Torque. And it's up to you, Blue Blood, to take this guy out. And I like those odds. Alright, things were looking pretty tough, but we're moving on with minimal damage. Two ticks, one tick. I think they know you're here. <laughs> okay, they know. Get a move on. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of activity on the 80th floor. Uh, there's an elevator ahead. It should take you right there. Just shut off that damn alarm. <laughs> All right, we got some choices here. We got the main door, we got a breach on the wall, and we got a security door. And uh, since we don't have torque to help us against getting shot, maybe we take the security door entrance. It gives us no extra perks. This one means either surprise or they're shooting. We just don't know how hard that one that can shoot at us will be to hit. Hmm. So the choices is wall and security door. Who are our options here? We have blue blood that can go in first uh, on the security door. We're gonna, I think, or who do we have as an option here? Just terminal with the breaching charge. I like, I'd rather lead off with Blue Blood. Uh, then we'll go with Torque. Now we're leaving you there, Torque. Uh, you have a device to throw in. We'll hold that off for the next encounter. Or can, can you only use it on the second spot? Because Godmother has something that I know she can use. Torque. Yeah, so I'm basically I'm gonna do. I want the ceasefire bomb? No. So what we're since we're going since we're not having anybody shoot against us, we will not use ceasefire. We'll use Godmother's target analyzer to try and get crits and cut down as many enemies as we can on this one. Next breach, we'll make sure Torque goes a uh, second, hopefully, and can use his breaching item. And finally, we'll have terminal lead it off. I'm going to hold off on refresh this time because not everybody needs a heal. Uh, we're going to take a chance that uh, the damage is minimal enough to hold up through this encounter. Let's get in there, guys. Don't bunch up. Grenade out. Oof, we got a lot of guys here. We got a Dominator. A lot of guy, kind of guys I don't like. Sorcerer, yes. Necromancer. And Resonant. These are all the kind of guys I don't like. I, I want to be able to take them all out. Holy smokes, I want to take them all out. The Resonant is the least to hit. Necromancer caused problems with us before. I know a Sorcerer can cause problems. Uh, Blue Blood, I'm asking you to take out. Or get a nice hit on the sorcerer. 75% chance crit. No crit. All right, Godmother, this is where I ask you to get a crit to try and take out the sorcerer. No crit. We're not getting with all our increased percentages on getting a crit. We sure are not getting any crits. Uh, we got a toxic greeting we could blow in place, and we got a chance for a crit doing a lot more damage, though. 
So I think we're going against, let's see, Dominator at 82. Everything else is pretty low. I want to get a hit. I want to get a hit on these guys. Then again, Toxic Greeting is guaranteed. Yikes, so many choices. I'm not sure how to go. Um, we're going to go with the hit. On the Necromancer, 78%. Still no crit, even with the target analyzer coming in. And I gotta do something to try and take out that sorcerer, I do believe. Then again, my best chance to hit is on the Dominator. None of these are one kill enemies, so the, you can argue that the choice to get them hittable with one kill is not a bad plan either. There we got a crit! Now, what's the order we got to deal with? We also got another room worth of enemies. The elevator needs a key card. One of these Shrike goons must have it on them. Yikes. There, oh, grab there. that key card and head to the right 84. There. Yeah, we'll just grab it real easy. Easy, easy to do, right? Um, we do have our phase lance back. Do we have some folks lined up for it? That's a good question, huh? Coming up next is Necromancer and the Dominator way in the back. The uh, acid or whatever uh, he was hit with is not enough to take him out, so he still will be able to do something. Let's just check out phase lance. Hits a couple here. Let's see what some regular shots do for us here. We got a resonant, not so concerned. We got a resonant, not so concerned. And we got a sorcerer coming up way down the line. So the ones that we need to hit next are not necessarily the ones you can see. Blue blood. Now if we do a slight move, can we at least take out one of the next shots? Necromancer. Well, I can I can basically move you here in order. The question is, one, two, three, will you have enough in you on the phase lance to take out both? Because you're not guaranteed necessarily to do seven damage. But I'm moving here for the phase lance because I think I can get the next two guys at least aligned up, and that's what we've got to attempt. Torque, I wish you guys had switched. There might have been a chance otherwise. Instead, I got to expose Blue Blood terribly for this one. Um, let's see if we can do that now because then I can't move and shoot the Phase Lance. So we got to move here to, to shoot the Phase Lance. And if I get you lined up here, I think if I move you here, that's our best chance. Okay, I can at least get the two I want. <sighs> Let's make it happen. Necroman Necromancer in the front is the one that worries me the most. And we didn't take him out. We took out the guy in the back. And we exploded something to boot. Look at that. Oh, and she's calling forth the spectral zombie. Two, as a matter of fact. But hopefully if we take out the Necromancer... Oh, boom, a crit. Four damage, not the end of the world. Yet. You should have ducked. Godmother, who's coming up next now? We got a paladin coming up way in the back, so I'm gonna ignore him. We got this resonant with the key card coming up. Um and I don't know that you can necessarily take them all out. I know if we move up here, we can get you definitely untouchable. Take out the necromancer, get rid of those ugly two little other things that are coming up. But we can also deal with that later. Um, do we have any scatter shot available? One, two, three. F uh, we're pushing it on scatter shot. 
And it goes one, two, three, four, af four hexes after, four squares after where you stand. So Godmother, it's not going to be a kill on anyone. And it's just asking for a hit. But if I uh, run you down here, we can get a scatter shot. Then one, two, one, two, three, four. So no. He would be too far for scatter shot anyway. So that is not the answer. What I'm thinking is we can move you up this way, get a shot. And this one's running next. If I move you here, though, that would be able to get you hit. What is your shot right now? Seventy-one percent where you are. Probably the best cover we have where you are, since it's not going to be a kill shot. Nope, de nope, nope. The only way we have a chance for the crit and the kill shot, and the way the kits been crits have been piling on, they are nothing to be counted on. So, Godmother, we're going to keep you where you are wear him down nope because these these guys we aren't going to be able to kill they're going to do their thing uh, then coming up we only got torque and that sorcerer is going to be free to move uh, I'm almost thinking I want to move and take a shot against the sorcerer instead right here this time though I will make a move to make that shot better it's going to put you in dangerous spot easily flanked by upcoming enemies, but you will be untouchable. Only 75%? What kind? Oh, because it's not a flank, because I think that's corner cover over on the side of her. Yikes. You better get this kill. Oh, we're not untouchable. Bad. Bad news. And that one's buffed up with some armor. And something else called Impel. You can't hide. That one got me. Still up. Blue Blood's now extremely hurt. Okay, Torque, now the Sorcerer's coming up. The Resonant in the back, too. Sorcerer's my bigger concern. Do you have the ability to deal with the Sorcerer? What is the Tongue Pull right now dealing with the Sorcerer? 75%. We've missed on 75% already. Um... Does this end my turn? That is the question. Does this end my turn? It's a special ability. We don't know for sure. I need to wrap up the sorcerer. Time for a face to face. <sighs> Just go to sleep. going on right now healed there what have we got coming up next we got a sorcerer another sorcerer that's been buffed like you wouldn't believe and we got a resonant hiding out back there pin down has a cooldown and I may use it if I have sight on this sorcerer and it's telling me I do not. I have to safeguard Blue Blood for sure, because he's still standing in the open for the next two to move, which is not a good position to be in. So the first thing I gotta do is safeguard here. Let's get your insides back inside. Just what I needed. And who do I have the best option against? And it would seem to be the guy standing in the open. When does the Necromancer come up? 
down here. That means blue blood. You're going to have to take care of that next necromancer that's right next to you. Whew. Crazy. So we'll take your best shot. burned it's only a graze and it's not necessarily enough to take him out nice strike, terminal Jackass. missed now the sorcerer the one we got to worry about Oof. what's tyranny do it just helped the necromancer Recycling. Uh -oh. it gave the necromancer a turn is what it did the necromancer is our prime target now. Uh, the only thing I can do is get blue blood into at least a little bit of cover here before we make our shot. Let's just see what our shot is right now. 87, 84. We don't even see the sucker right now based on where he's standing. Uh, so we got to get blue blood moving. Rolling out. Go. At least 100%, but is 100% enough? 58% crit. Yikes. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like we need Deadeye to make it enough. And still, with Deadeye, we got a great chance to hit. So, we need the Necromancer gone just to get rid of all those extra enemies that would then start moving gotcha. against us. There we go. Whew. That was big. That was huge. That was tremendous. Godmother, you're now next. And we still got some nasty guys ahead of us. This paladin way in the back would be nice to take out, but we can't get a good flank on him. Plus one hit is probably not enough. We got a resonant over here that still has the key. That would be nice to get rid of, or nice to get him down so we can get the key. So I'm thinking if we move here, it's not an automatic flank, step out flank. He would have to move to get that flank. Um, and that would keep you in some cover. You're still going to take a shot, but you're also still at full health. What are our chances for a crit? Only 33%. Not good. But this is our shot, and we're due to take return fire. this guy doing I'm not liking this guy in the back all right we got a nice miss there long distance thank goodness for that and this resonant does not quite move to take the flank but he's boosted up somehow I'm not sure everything that's going on here Whew. but I'm almost feeling like uh, we got to wrap this number eight guy up who's coming up next this resonant, he's going to be uh, really weakened from that acid, but he's still going to be able to do something, I think. And if we take him out, that means we then have the sorcerer in the back and the resonant here. Do we have any kind of way? Jeez, oh, Pete, we really don't. Can we get some poison in there on more than one? Not really, can we? We can get poison this way on more than one, not really. And Torque, if we get you moving to be able to uh, wrap this guy up, you don't have cover. You don't have cover worth a darn. Um, but we might, if we move you here and do chain shot, would chain shot be enough? Needed the exercise. We're about to find out. 81%. This is where we gotta try it. It's only a graze. Is that considered not a hit? Oh. Not good. 
There's some free shots available out there. guys are just getting boosted up like crazy. Terminal, can we get you a line of sight on this paladin to take it out? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's a line of sight. I think that's got to happen because by taking out the paladin, we do a world of hurt on this sorcerer coming up. But it really exposes you, Terminal. And that's not a guaranteed line of sight. We're about to find out. Like I said, that's not a guaranteed line of sight. And we got you standing out in the open. We're going to take a shot on who's coming up. Are we, the only one we have a chance to take out is the Resonant. That's the one. That's the shot we got to take. You see that? By the numbers. Things get boosted and healed all around. What's the sorcerer doing? Uh oh, Torque, be safe. Blue blood, be safe. Ugh. Not what I wanted to do today. That was a minor hit. Stay down until you're good. As far as I'm concerned, that's a great hit. Now we got some choices on who we can see and who we can hit. Unfortunately, I still at this angle can't see that guy. And with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna commit. We're gonna commit to taking this guy out. Unfortunately, I can't really take amazing cover, but we're gonna get up close and personal. And you're still safeguarded. Maybe that's what's helping you, and why you only took one tick on that shot. Let's see what our dead eye is against the Paladin. I like those odds. That was a big one. Takes out the sorceress. Godmother, now we're able to start feeling like we've finally gotten over the crest of the hill and we can make this happen now. She was too close to take that shot, but I don't mind a second shot like that. <laughs> All right, we got the looted key card over there. We got Torque and uh, Blue and uh, Terminal coming up. So Torque, we're just gonna move you in here to take the final shot. And there should be an automatic pickup of the key card, I would think, by eliminating the enemies. You know, there's a chance that would miss, but there's uh, probably not a chance the tongue misses. The tongue never misses. <laughs> Get over here. Well, rarely. Don't struggle. All right, we got some guys panicked, but hopefully come the end of the turn, uh, we all recover, we all get better. Ooh, reinforcements imminent. Is that because I don't have the key card? Let's go pick it up. Okay, reinforcements are coming in. A mess of androids. Haven't seen those kind of guys in a while. We got some panicked individuals out there, which is not good. And we're 
we're taking hits hard and heavy right now. Taking hits hard and heavy. And yeah, we got all these panicked individuals that we got to somehow get out of here. So I got to bring Torque out on this one to try and help us out. pull that one into us. He's primed. Let's do let's do this one. And we just gotta fight this out until we get some guys unpanicked. Godmother's still panicked. This guy's in some amazing cover over here. So terminal, I feel like we got to overwatch against this guy up, way up in the back. Got you covered. Nice hit. Does he keep moving? No more further overwatch. Oh, torn. I have your number now. Please have my folks be unpanicked because we have got to run, run, run. Panic removed on Blue Blood. Godmother still freaked out. to the game blue blood what options do we have not a whole mess we do have face off once permission and we see a bunch of them unfortunately you just have three bullets so we'd only be able to hit three Uh, let's do the nano med kit to try and get us healed up for the next episode, the next encounter. We only have one shot. Is a phase lance lined up for anybody? Not really with us in the way there. Phase Lance is out of the question. I guess uh, this is a face-off time for us. Squad, head down. Got him. Far less sloppy than me. Godmother, you are unpanicked. Now is the time to get us moving. I don't see any more reinforcements being called in. So does this mean we gotta fight it out somehow? Is that in our best interest? Unfortunately, you only have the ability. Thank God, mother, you aren't hurt. You just panicked. I hate to use team up at this point, but um, let's just see if scatter shot. Can go this wide, not quite. Let's see if I put you right here. One, two, three, four. That would get you next to this guy who's primed, though, and we don't want that. Let's just take our shot against the primed one to get that explosion. Hopefully, wow, that doesn't even kill him. Doesn't even kill him. So we need to start retreating. Unfortunately, the prime one can then move and explode and hit us. But best that some of us start moving out of the way so the explosion hurts less of us than others. Mm -hmm. 
Who do we see? There's still a chance, 97% to take this guy out, 88% to at least take this out, maybe. Drop the hostile. Good job. Now we got the primed one, unfortunately, to still worry about, and he's gonna explode terminal. Enough of that, Jack. Two damage. Treat the wound if you need to. Now we got Torque. This guy's pretty far away. So Torque, I think we need to get you moving and in cover towards the exit. And take that shot. It's not your day. He's primed. I don't think he can move far enough. Oh, terminal's just getting feet up. Uh, terminal, we're gonna safeguard you and then get you moving. We're gonna net man a nano med kit and get you safeguarded. Cause you were really hurt. Wow. Get you into some cover, or at least moving towards the exit. Is he gonna prime? No, he's gonna take a shot. Untouchable, Godmother. Out of ammo. So at least we're not feeling as hurt as we did a few minutes ago. We have several shots to go, and I think it's in our best interest. To finish these guys. Oh, let's reload. Back in action. Let's take a regular shot. I'll take it. And uh, I'm not gonna waste the phase lance on this guy. We got more coming up. So let's get you towards the exit. Yep, but we only need one shot from you, Godmother. We only need one. Oh, there are more reinforcements, but at least this time... I feel like we can then run and get away from them for the most part. Deflected off armor. Nice crit. Wounded is wounded. Can we see from here? It looks like, I seemed like we should be able to. He's not primed. We still have half cover. We can see through that little window. There we go. Finish it off. And then it's time to escape. You're dead. Let's go, let's get running. Okay, blue blood, we can get you out. Question is, can we see something when we move? Where are they? It says we have sight from there, so you hopefully will get a shot as you're getting out of here. Dead eye. Think fast. Godmother, you also. Looks like you have sight from here also. Looks like you'll get a shot, a parting shot. Nope, you do not have sight from there. Oh, because we need to reload you. Reloading. 
guy do something? Prime self-destruct and shoot. Are we gonna hit? I felt that one. Minor hit on blue blood, two Gross, ticks. You're bleeding. Torque, we're just gonna dash you out. Hopefully we don't take too much more hits standing up in the open of the elevator. And now that I realize how this works, we should have taken a side position in the elevator, not a directly open position in the elevator. Fortunately, they're minor hits. This is why you keep me around. We give you a kill shot. Better you than me. Whew. Taking a lot of work to make manage to get through this, to work through this, and keep ourselves healthy. Tough, tough battles. You'll be completely exposed out there. I'm not going to die on a rooftop. You might, but not me. <laughs> Let's hope I can keep her alive. <laughs> Good visibility. We get extra 25 aim during the breach. Um, hmm, keypad door. Anybody can start off. Um, I think it's Torque that has to come second. So Blue Blood is going to lead it off for us. Uh, Torque is going to come second so he can do the ceasefire bomb. Now, uh, if we're lucky, it'll be one of those that needs to shoot at us. Godmother, you're coming there. And Terminal, heal us, please. All right, time to breach. Episode or encounter three out of four coming up. And if those two were as tough as they are, we still got a tough one. They usually increase with difficulty as we go. Yikes. Breach, breach. Grenade out. One wide open rooftop and we don't know if anybody anybody so we got adders uh, to work on um, we'll do which one seems like it could be in the best to cover well who knows uh, everybody's got extra aim so we'll just count on taking out the ones that uh, are gonna shoot at us so let's take our first shot here with the Lancer Hey Torque, what have we got as possibilities? Uh, we're gonna go with the 100% shot that you have on this other adder. Godmother, can we take it out so we don't take any more hits? What have we got remaining? You got 100% on both, so let's far away. We got a surprise acolyte, but we're gonna go for the kill on the adder to lower their numbers. <sighs> How many more enemies do we still have to face though? This is of the rooftop. Well, quantity and en enemies isn't uh, overwhelming. But there's not necessarily easy. We got an armor giver very close for you, blood, blue blood. What kind of shots can you give us? Ninety-seven. That sounds like a dead eye shot to me. Let's make it happen. Nice. Off the armor. We at least got a hit. <laughs> for bouncing off the armor I like that damage we're gonna try a little dead eye again this time it's a hundred percent take care of them blue blood Got him. clean hit coming up next we got an acolyte do you have a tongue vision of the acolyte we need 
Looks like it's only tongue vision of that acolyte. Uh, can we relocate ourselves to help the vision? I don't know if that's going to get you over there far enough. Because that wall is kind of blocking your sight. And I'm not highly interested. I am not highly interested in having you be exposed. So maybe we have to take the hit from the Acolyte. He tends to raise us up. Isn't that what he does? And most likely it might be terminal. She's the closest, but you never know. Um, what is our tongue grab on the other Acolyte looking like? 97%, that's where we're going. gonna bind she guides me there now we got to worry about what this guy does this terminal are you the one exposed like I thought yep soul fire so that's just a straight hit he didn't raise you that up hurts. for everybody else godmother we got this guy wrapped up which means we got a snake which tends to be your specialty coming up soon after um, terminal you would then be able to help out if we don't get the kill thinking of moving godmother here to get close and not use run and gun in case we need it coming up because remember there's a fourth encounter somewhere um, might be through that door we got another elevator or something to deal with over here is that what it is we're gonna find out soon <sighs> I'm wondering what's about to happen because this level so far seems a little on the easy side, so the hard stuff is yet to come, or something. Godmother, what is your shot right now against that guy? 71%. We're going to try getting you a little closer. To increase those odds. And I like those odds now. Like I said, you are the snake killer. He's bound. That frees up several of us to move next. So I'm wondering. This acolyte's pretty tough hiding and crunched down there. Should we get close to it with you? Or what is your shot right now? Not a great shot. But I also like the idea of safeguarding you. There's no, no kills are certain anymore. We're gonna take the shot and hope we can hit on 67. Oh, oh, oh. Peeking at the last door. Reinforcements we gotta deal with. How many waves? Two waves of reinforcements to deal with coming in. So that means blue blood, let's get moved up and let's see how we can position some of us. Um, there's waves of reinforcements coming up. Thought it felt too easy, didn't it? Let's set some overwatch in case they move far enough coming out, but I doubt they'll even make it this far on an opening move, but we'll set some overwatch just in case. We're going to keep binding you. Hostile no longer exists. Good. Godmother, we're going to move you up for some overwatch a little closer. Maybe that'll help us out. Hopefully they'll move into some of your overwatch. On overwatch. And terminal. Well can't really get close enough to get you on overwatch and get you in cover so we're gonna try this position it's about the farthest forward we can get you to get ready to help us out next time let's see what we're dealing with reinforcements wise Wow so much for the easy start Praetorians bombers Praetorians have got to go. Praetorians have got to go. 
Uh, we do have the lance shot, but you're not close enough, but we can get close enough for at least a double hit. I hope. That should be just enough closer, I hope. Looks like it. They're highlighted. Make it happen, blue blood. Significant, significant damage on these guys now. Although he just gained that extra Praetorian armor <laughs> that we love. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll have to move up Torque. I don't think we're close enough to do any kind of grenade. No, to keep that in our back pocket. I don't know if we're close enough for any kind of poison spit. No, not yet. So all we're really close enough for, and you only have one ticket damage, so we saved the nano med kit, is Overwatch to hopefully protect us. Or help protect us. Watch out, Godmother. I'm hit. Still up. Throwing grenade. Oh, of course. And these grenades don't have delays anymore now, do they? No, this one does. As soon as I start no. thinking I know when they will or when they won't be delayed, this one gets delayed. Um, the good news is if I move you up, you're going to be a target. The bad, news, uh, the bad news is you're a target. The good news is we got Scattershot available. How you feeling, Godmother, about getting hit? Because these Scattershots are not going to hit. So maybe I gotta look at a different tact. One, two, maybe we'll get our scatter shot that way. One, two, three, I think it might. Uh, and then we have a chance to kill this guy in the front, a chance. And if so, at least that gets you untouchable. So what is this shot just in case? Oh, that's the bomb. Yeah, we wanna get out of the way of the bomb anyway. Uh, so Godmother, might be time for some overtime. I don't know what's coming up in that final room, but right now we got some tough challenges right ahead of us. Let's go right here and pray that Scattershot works for us. Well, worst case, we can come untouchable by just killing the guy in front of us. But I want to do more damage than that, don't you? Okay, at least it gets two. I was hoping for all three. Time we are untouchable. Fire in the hole. Hopefully another delayed grenade, or is this immediate? Took a wound. I can we are grazed. We weren't untouchable on that. We should have been, I would have thought. Still here. We're taking graze hits. It's just an expression. Well, that bomb went off. Now we can get out of position for the next bomb after that. So uh, we're going to run right here for another scatter shot. Hopefully become untouchable on this one and not be able to take damage. Um, now, Terminal, I want you to be able to take out someone else. Where are you? You're pretty far out of it, though. I'm still... Hmm. We're going to come here for scatter shot. We're going to hold off on the nano med kit. Count on safeguard. One less Another time. one down. We can move you up. Right from where we are, we can set off the grenade. We don't need to. Only 57%. Now, we're going for the safeguard on Godmother on top of everything else. Because you have good cover there. Need a little help? We're going to watch another grenade explode. And 
watch more reinforcements. Yikes. Holy smokes. The cobras that can root us in place. Oh, Godmother, are they bunching up for you or what? Not long now. Ooh, I don't like that guy though. Is there one guy we want to get rid of, or do we just take two shots? Uh, let's take a look at this one guy that came in. I want to know what the heck he is down here. Purifier, so that's fire. I don't know if untouchable helps against fire. Let's see, there's a lot coming up right now. Wow. More worried about probably the cobras of any of the snakes. But at the same time, when does Godmother come up again? It's a while. It's after all these guys. We have team up ability. I think I'm going to team Godmother up too. Yep. Oh, this is crazy, 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 crazy. We're going to hold off on fan fire. And it'll take our, some of our best shots coming up. 83 to kill and take this guy out. Pretty damn good chance to be able to do that. We did it. Still got it. That means you get one more shot right, to help I us guess. out. And I'm wondering if maybe I should try wearing somebody down over here like a cobra. So that Godmother's shot can at least take someone out and make her untouchable. Nice hit. Nice damage. Cover me while I reload. Oh, that better be a free reload. Or on the first turn so it doesn't end your turn. There we go. Whew, you scared the heck out of me, Godmother. Scared the heck out of me. Yeah, that's that's the way to get the most damage for us. And get us, hopefully, untouchable. Down. Okay. Cobra's down and the rest are almost gone. Hopefully this gets us close enough for another for a nice follow-up shot. Question being, do we have a grenade? And the grenade is just out of range. We have some decent shots here to take some of these guys out. Who are we most worried about? The bomber? We want to injure one of these guys coming up. Maybe the purifier so we don't have to take flame against him if we hit him. And we also got chain shot. What is the chain shot against the purifier? Not good. Ooh, 63. I'm going to take the chance. That's a hit. That counts as a hit, does it not? Oh, couldn't quite take him out. Thank you, Torque. Now we got a bomber. We got a bomb throw in. No, he takes a shot Try and missed. Again. Good it's dodge there. on Torque. Paid off. The Cobra I don't like. Somebody's going to be rooted. Torque. Yep, rooting Venom Godmother is the one. Rooted. Don't die, I guess. Oh, Untouchable saved her behind. But not now. Hopefully. Ooh. Still up. Godmother is bound, but probably, hopefully, not a target now. Come on, dodge. Knocked a few scales dodge off. helped you a little bit. So Godmother's no hanging in there without too much damage. What we got to get rid of is that python. 
I'm going to count on you, Terminal, to get rid of that. Ooh, Terminal's coming. I mean, the Purifier's coming up next. Then we can get rid of that guy. I'm going to count, count on you to get rid of the Purifier. We're going to move you up. Save the safeguard. I'm worried about the bomber over here, but hopefully all he's going to do is bomb away. What kind of a shot do we have on the purifier? Please be high enough. 80%. Let's do it. Whew. I'm nearly dry. That means we got blue blood with one shot in his pistol. We do have a free load, free reload. So let's use, well, I'm, I'm thinking let's use the free reload first. Good to go. And let's see, let's get rid of the python first so Godmother can move when we're done. Got the hostile. Even though she's rooted, we're going to need her. Uh, hopefully she's not stunned here. That way to get up Godmother. And we still have one more shot ahead of us. Another python is... Uh, one of our best shots, but it might not hurt. Well, neither of them are one-shot kills, so let's give ourselves the option to do these kills. What is this guy? Two bombers. The bombers, in a way, I fear them less. So, so let's work on the guy over on the side here with our final shot to try and do some damage. Nice. That means Godmother gets to go. And Godmother, who is rooted, can become untouchable by taking out this guy. Should we do the sure thing? You know, I just realized I probably could have got scatter shot. Was that within range? One, two, three, four. I would have been borderline. I would have at least got this far. Whether I could have got that square into it being rooted, I don't know. Torque, you are coming up next. What will tongue pull help us with? And who do we have in range with tongue pull? 100%. I guess a bomber's not too heavy, eh? He was a heavy load. He, he moved over there in slow motion, but we're going to bind him up. Don't stop. Oh, we got another target. cobra shot, unfortunately. We do not, can you tell, like cobras. Fortunately, we're untouchable. But we got the python, too. You going to bind us again? Ah, Severely crit wounded. Hit. We didn't take much hit. Don't play it down if it's bad. Way to have the safeguard and armor helping us out. So we still have cooperation for the final room, uh, should we need it. I'm bringing you up here. We're going to keep the safeguard where it is. Uh, let's just take a look around at who has injuries. We're all not too bad of dings. So therefore, we're going to bring you up right here. What's second wind? Restoring four hit points, cleansing, 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 stabilizing. We'll hang on to that. We still got a fourth encounter. Maybe we'll need. Maybe we'll need some stabilizing. 79% to hit the Cobra. We're going to try our best shot to try and weaken the Cobra. Got a little acid going to boot. That means blue blood. It means we have two shots from you. And I like the percent on this one. Got it. I need to next I need to take a breath between these encounters here. Now we gotta follow it up with an 82%. Can you just end it? I'll take it. Yikes. So we got the dings, but nothing disastrous. Where do we go from here? Aha. Uh -huh. The big suite.
All right, we're all going in our own door here. So no breach items to use on this one. Hard to hit, enemies deal less damage. Pinpoint, successful shots crit. 25 defense and 25 defense. So we're doing a torque here. We're doing a terminal here. Crit is godmother. And enemies deal less damage on us is blue blood. And I think we'll keep this order. Let's do it, guys. Come on now. Breach, breach. What? Have we got to deal with Ike's a sorcerer and they all I repeat they all can shoot at us so we're taking damage this is the room where torque would have come in handy Praetorian terrible guy up there thrall the least of our worries another Praetorian thrall thrall Thrall. I think uh, we're going to focus on the sorcerer up front. Lancer shot makes that 96. Um, what was our regular shot? 100%? Yeah, but let's. Doesn't, doesn't Lancer shot save ammo by using the other pistol? I think we'll still hit on 96. Let's do it. 58% chance crit. No crit. Godmother, I do like the chance for a crit here. We are going to alpha strike with you on the sorcerer. She scares me the most, let's face it. I think that hit may have taken her out. Um, we may just do a toxic greeting up here to get some... Uh, we can't kill him, but to get the, the hurt going on this guy. Oh, and another sorcerer. Yikes. You're the only one that had sight on this sorcerer. Is there anyone else I need to be aware of that you can see that we couldn't see before? Oh, there is that sorcerer is left with only one tick. Dang it. Oh, I was hoping it was taken out. So we still got to take two punishing sorcerer shots. This is where we're going. Weaken it down so we can hopefully take out the sorcerer sooner rather than later. Now we're taking our hits. Some misses, some hits. Some hits, some hits, and some misses. So we're hanging in there. XCOM, lay down your arms. It's Chimera Squad. And screw you for all you've done, pal. All I've done? I've reminded this city what it needs to survive. You don't know what you're talking about. The elders will return. We can only defeat them by tearing the weakness from our hearts. Was that why you killed the mayor? A handful of casualties today, or a whole world tomorrow. It's an easy choice. All this crazy is why I never worked with you during the war. You won't acknowledge the stakes? Fine. Shrike, destroy them. Okay. Where is the main dude? That's what I want to know. Which one? A sovereign right up front. This is the guy. And it looks like, does that mean he's a runner or is that just labeling that he is the sovereign? What is your shot on the sovereign here, Blue Blood? 87%. You know what we're going to start out right off the bat on? We're going we're gonna to be taking some damage, guys. That's all I can say. And I think Fanfire is a perfect time at 87% chance to be going against the Sovereign. We have a chance, albeit a chance only, to take this guy out. So what I'm going to do first is we can use it on my second shot. So we're going to take... The first shot, should we go against somebody else? All Thralls coming up. Let's take it against... There's an 88% Thrall. 
Let's take it against uh, whatever, an 88% thrall, the first shot. And then we'll do fan fire as our second shot against the leader. He's disoriented. That'll help. Wish we could have taken him down. Time for fan fire. There he is. Let's see if we can do it. There's a chance we can do it, but there's a chance we're just going to weaken him. We're going to find out. Oh, we can take out, take the head off the serpent by nailing this guy. Do you have a shot from where you are, Godmother? And what is that shot? 71%. I'm almost feeling like I want to move a little closer, but then moving you a little closer, you'll be untouchable. What's your health right now? Three dings. Uh, we're going to move you a little closer with hit and run. You're going to be in the sick of thick of things. But I want to take the head off the serpent, as I said before. And not have to deal with this guy anymore. So, hit and run. Clearing a path. Changing position. There we go. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering who do we got coming up next? We got a bunch of sorcerers coming up soon. Uh, you know what I'm going to do in the meantime, before I take my shots, I'm going to throw my one acid grenade. If I quit dancing around here on the moor, I keep my fingers steady. Uh, we're going to throw the acid grenade over here to try and shreds armor. Damages unit just doesn't show, tell me how much. I'm going to take a chance on the damage, hoping uh, that an, uh, it, it'll be in single shot territory Throwing to grenade. take out this sorcerer. Two. Well, we'll find out. Um, I don't know that I have more than one lined up for scatter shot. Nope, I do not. So we're just going to take a standard shot right here to take out the sovereign. Deflected off armor. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's why. He's protected and overwatched, and now we got a bunch of other stuff going on right now with the thralls. Is that the best you can do? He's disoriented, so he's going to go gather his thoughts. That's one less hit, hopefully, to have to take. Yes. No impact. This is the one where we could take a hit because we didn't kill the guy. Minor damage. Going. Don't play it down if it's bad. Oh, you'll regret that. Haha, <laughs> that was a miss on Torque. Thank you. Um, what do we got to do with you, Torque? Coming up, we got the Praetorians. We're going to have to deal with their damage because I want to get rid of the sorcerers. Uh, sorceresses, because they are the ones that worry me. Um, do we have a tongue pull on a sorceress on the other side of the room? And what is that chance? 77? That's the chance we're going to take. Got it. Let's bind this sorceress and lower the count in half. Now we gotta take some damage from Praetorians. Pray tell. Yeah, they're buffing each other up with armor. Oh, we got a flank on Blue Blood. And a missed Too flank. And goes, guys can't hit the broadside of a barn, but oh, godmother, here we go. Sorry, he may come up close to bash you. Yep, melee strike. Oof, that Still hurt. Here. Don't let it get infected. All right, terminal. Um, I think, I think, I think, I think we're gonna safeguard godmother. 
Take a shot on a sorcerer. What is that shot? Do you have the ability to take it out? Yes, you do. So we're going to safeguard Godmother. He'll be fine. And now we got a shot that we really need to connect on. And we really need to do the kind of damage we need. And that is a... I'll tell you what, we got a plasma grenade that we can throw first. And that's just what we're going to do. That's how much I hate sorcerers. In fact, it says the plasma grenade may be enough. We're going to find out. Plasma out! Deflected. I don't like the sound of that one. Well, the good thing is the one she was attached to died. So we still did a kill. Now let's see that you've deflected if you can hold up against this shot. And let's hope once again now, though, we need the full damage because we don't have a grenade left to help us out. No, we didn't quite make it. One tick left. Oh, but the acid helped us. Forgot about the kick of the acid before she got to move. Now we got a phase lance. The question is... Do we have anybody lined up for the phase lance? We might back here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we do, but it has Godmother also in, in the way. Wait, this way doesn't have Godmother in the line of fire. So we try to take a first shot against the Sovereign. See if a second time he can protect himself. This time, his magic Damn. doesn't help him. Now, the phase lance is in place, and we can we know we can avoid Godmother. Light it up. Got the hostile. Had to start damage on the Praetorian. My goodness, they're buff. <laughs> okay, Godmother, uh, maybe we want to keep our distance on this big guy, huh? What do you think? Uh, we got some thralls. Where are they? Hiding out. He's hurt. He's pretty far away. Then we got the two Praetorians coming up. Thralls coming up first. So I'm going to move back here to do a hit on the Praetorian. And he's committed to keep meleeing me. So yeah, I want to start, start wearing him down. Oof, that doesn't look like it's going to hurt him enough. Look at that, four bits of armor. Some of it temporary, I know, but wow. We need some shredder of what we need. Target armor deflected the shot. At least so you that shreds lose. armor, and then he puts it right back on. You're lucky I don't dodge, dodge that one, although he did get a graze. And Blue Blood uh, gets weed. a hit. Who do we got coming up next? I don't think. I think Praetorians are too big for the old tongue pole. No, it says I can grab this guy. Well, I sure wouldn't mind getting him tied up. Now, would you? Because I don't think Chain Shot is going to be enough to do the damage we need. So it looked like the only ones that really were big enough was uh, Faceless, maybe, and uh, the Berserkers. Oh no. Food blood, I'm sorry. Dang tough. Ah, not what I wanted to do today. Next time, don't get hit. So we gotta do some all hands help on the Praetorian ahead of us. Uh, we got 81% to hit from where we are, so let's see if we're allowed to safeguard Blue Blood. Yes, we are. Gremlin on the way. Yeah, 
And let's take the shot against the Praetorian back here. Another armor adding shot, but at least it's been more acid. His armor now, though, some of the temporary stuff is left. His armor is down to two ticks. Kind of thinking uh, we need some dead eye over here. Boom. You better connect because uh, we're too close for melee again. I think even with that extra armor, we can finish him off with a little dead eye. Boom. That felt good. Now, Godmother, we have to worry about some thralls. I think if you take a little step to the side, a little shuffle step, we got ourselves a thrall in sight. And we are getting down in the count. Watch out, Tor. I have your number now. Ah, it releases a Praetorian, yep, unfortunately. That needs stitches. Well, this time a chain shot gets used. Nice hit, now finish it off. It's not your and that day. guy went down hard and heavy. We're down to our final thrall, guys. I'm feeling like maybe we can do this. Gotta get moving. Actually, I started feeling I like go. that when we got the leader knocked out of the way. 59%. Nice connection on a low percent. Phew, Atlas defeated. Atlas is no more. Better yet, you captured all kinds of intel on their plans and operations, including the death of Mayor Nightingale. City 31 can rest easy tonight. Now get back to base. The director has authorized some much needed R&R. &R. Squad. The director has arrived. At ease. One month ago, you were understaffed, outgunned, and in temporary housing. Hey, the place had character. And rats. Don't forget the rats. <clears throat> now, the entire squad is here with the latest and greatest from XCOM HQ. City 31 is in good hands. Hot <laughs> situation in Old Town. We'll need all hands for this one. Time Mara Squad, form up and load in. I'm sorry for interrupting. You made my point. Go on, do your job. Reclamation is entrenched. Our assets burned. We have no option. The battle for City 31 is lost. But XCOM doesn't realize they're already at war. And when they do? It will be too late. Ominous ending. Little prequel to XCOM 3, perhaps, coming up in the future. So we won 53 missions, 7 flawless. <laughs> Not the highest percent in the world, but hey, we completed this puppy. 574 kills, wow. Almost half ended up being captures. That's pretty decent. Agent Scars, we dealt with 6. We got 6 of us ranked up to the max. And we did it, guys. I want to appreciate or show my appreciation to all of you and just thank you uh, for making it through this playthrough. we got a lot of fun coming up for this channel now that this uh, playthrough has ended. We're going to move on. We still have Long War to wrap up, but uh, join us as we uh, start in the near future uh, some playthroughs of Phoenix Point and we uh, find out whatever happened to the Long War of the Chosen playthrough and uh, we'll get some long War of the Chosen action ready and moving forward also coming up soon this month. So stick around. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hit that thumbs up for this final mission of the episode. I had a blast playing this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, love some of the new mechanics. Not a perfect game by any means, but it was still enjoyable. It was still fun. You all have a great one. Uh, 
Keep your eyes open for this channel, Zigzag Zog Plays Alien Strategy. And if you haven't noticed it or, or taken a peek over there yet, Zigzag Zog Plays Historical Strategy, if you think some of those types of games might interest you also. You all have a great one. Hope to see you soon.